The standard force system walkthrough CONOP deployment is ideal for security situations where throughput requirements are very high and detection expectations are low. Each subject walks through the screening area one after the other. For optimal results, there should be at least a three-second gap between subjects. When the security officer sees an anomaly that may suggest an object is concealed under the clothing, the security officer will direct the subject to enter the secondary screening area for further review. Let's take a look at this again through the eyes of the officer. The software used in this deployment produces four live anatomical free images of the body. If there is an object blocking the body's naturally emitting energy waves, the officer will see a dark shadow on the body's silhouette. One subject in this scenario was sent to secondary screening. The all-clear device is highly recommended whenever secondary screening is needed. It is the only handheld device capable of detecting both metals and nonmetals, eliminating the need for physical pat-downs. While screening with the all-clear, the device alerts when passed repeatedly over the chest area. The subject is asked to open his shirt, showing he was concealing a liquid explosive. You've seen how this entire CONOP works, including secondary screening, utilizing the all-clear. Now let's learn more about MicroSemi's Gen2 software by viewing more concealed object detections. The subject in this scenario is concealing a handgun. Let's review this detection again. As the subject walks through the screening area, look at the last two moving images capturing the back of the body. The object is detected on the subject's back. This time the subject is concealing a liquor bottle. As the subject walks through the screening area, look at the first moving image. It contains one of the images capturing the front of the body. When the subject exits the screening area, the object is detected in the subject's front right pants pocket. Next, the subject is concealing a 4 inch by 4 inch bag of powder to simulate cocaine. As the subject walks through the screening area, look at the first two moving images capturing the front of the body. The object is detected on the subject's stomach area. The subject in this last scenario is concealing an assault rifle. As the subject walks through the screening area, look at the first two moving images capturing the front of the body. The object is detected on the subject's back. When selecting this CONOP, it is important to designate enough floor space to accommodate the specified requirements. In addition, subjects should enter the screening area with at least a three-second gap to ensure only one subject is in the camera's field of view at a given time.